Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to slice a list in C. -sharp. So, to begin with, I've already created us a list. The list consists of 10 elements, and these elements are integers from 1 to 10. Right. So, let's say that we wanted to slice a list such that our output, right, what we're expecting to get, our output is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So we want to slice a list up to only 4 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So the most important thing here is the stub index, right? The stub index is represented by the first element that you want, right? In this case, our output has 1 at the beginning, right? So therefore, we need to find the index of 1. And here in our original list, the index of 1 is 0 because 1 is at the beginning, right? It's at the beginning of the list. And you know that the list is indexed starting from 0. So therefore, our start index is 0. And once we have our start index, it is all easy because now we just need to know how many elements we are expecting. And in this case, the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So we can just say int count equals 4. And with that, we can slice our list. So we're just going to create a copy of the list. Sliced list is equals to, and then we take the original list, which is this one, nums, right? This list, and then we said that we want to slice the list from this stat index. Remember that get range only takes two values, right? It takes the stat index and the count. And that's it, right? So we want to slice our list such that we start at index zero and then the elements that we're slicing there are four elements that we're expecting right and with that we can then just print the results to console so we're going to say sliced list dot for each element in our new list right we want to print element to the console and then let's add a new line so that we can see the list clearly okay so let's go over the code again right so this is the list that we wanted to slice and we wanted to slice it from one to four right this is the output that we're expecting and this is the start index right start index that index of the first element we are expecting right so in this case the first element was 1 and then we saw that 1 in the original list is index 0 and then this is the number of elements are expecting and then this is when we are slicing the list using get range right so get range takes only the start index and the number of the elements so now let's run the code As you can see that our output is 1, 2, 3, 4. The exact output that we were expecting, right? So now to truly understand this, let's play with it. So let's say now we decided that you just want to slice the list from 3, 4 to 5, right? So we are, want an output that will give us 3, 4, 5. 
right so obviously we need to find the index of 3 first right so in the original list if we begin from 1 here we're going to say 0 1 2 right again we said 0 1 2 so our index of this element 3 here is actually 2 right so we now have our start index now let's count the elements inside right there are 1 2 3 right so there are three elements that we're expecting right and with that we can now run the code now before I run the code remember that these values are then passed into get range right the start index is passed into this get range and the count is passed into count just like that and then it effectively slices our list as you can see we are getting three four five so we are effectively slicing our list now let's do another example let's say for instance we wanted the elements from 9 and 10 right we only wanted 9 to 10 right again we still have to find the first index of 9 right like we need to find the first index of this output so we know that 9 is gonna be if it's starting at 0 then it's 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right it's index 8 therefore we pass in the start index as 8 and then we care only about the number of elements the count and there are only two elements that we are expecting and with that remember that the start index and the count are the values that are taken by get range so it expects start index and count so we already updated them here now let's run the code As you can see we get 9 and 10. So that's it. That is how you slice a list. Thank you and happy coding.